hope this helps you make sense of the Valium problem from the quiz, plus an extra example of goals seek never hurt either. A goat's metabolism eliminates an antitoxin at a rate of 6.38% per hour. A dose of 120 milligrams was given at noon. First question, how much antitoxin remains in the goat's system at midnight? To answer this, before we really go any further, we need the model. We ask ourselves, is this linear or exponential? And we can see that it's exponential because it changes by a percent. So our model starts with Q equals, and then our initial dose, times 1, it's decreasing, so that's a minus, 0 0.0638 to the t. The question gives us the time. It says the dose was given at noon, and midnight is 12 hours later, so we're plugging in t equals 12. So Q equals 120 times 1 minus 0 0.0638 to the 12. And when you put that in your calculator, you should get 54.4 milligrams. Now it asks, after how many hours will 40% of the original dose remain in the GOAT system? The first question we have to answer is what is 40% of the initial dose? The initial dose was 120 milligrams, and 120 times 0.4 is 48. So we want to know when the quantity remaining is 48. When we know Q and we're searching for T, that's when it's time for goal seek. We start by labeling two cells for T and Q. Then we put in the formula for Q using the cell reference to the blank cell for T instead of putting in the variable T. When we press enter, the result was our starting value. Now go to the data tab and go to what if analysis and choose Goal Seek. We want to set the cell for Q, so that's B2, to a value of 48. We want the ending quantity to be 48 by changing the cell for the time. That's what we're trying to find. Click OK, and it comes up with a solution. Click OK again. And we see that the time it will take to reach 48 milligrams left in the goat system is 13.9 when we round to two decimal places. Hours for 48 milligrams to remain. So that's the answer to the second part.